Hello and welcome to Man Cave Mechanic. I'm Troy Bry, and today we're going to complete our two-part series on how to disassemble and reassemble your Volvo fuel pump. Let's get at it. All right, we've got all our pieces here. I had to do a little bit more extensive work on this one because it was pretty corroded on top here, so I cleaned that all up and repainted all that. Same with this one. Um, just wanted to make it look a little better. So, first thing we want to do is uh, replace this. It's got a gasket on it, just like everything else. Replace the gasket. That just slips right on. And then feeds right in the top. This is one of the lines that goes to your fuel rail. I'll feed right in there. And then this gets tightened down with an 11 16 wrench. Okay. <clears throat> All right, next we want to replace these gaskets. First, I'm going to replace the one on the top part, which is this small o-ring here we've got two of these little thinner o-rings for the outer housings the inner sleeve we've got four o-rings for it That's how it looks. Now the completed project, I'll, let's just go over that real quick. You can see how I cleaned this all out in here. This was all flaking real bad and, and uh, that's the pro that was going to be the problem with plugging up your filters. Over here, the same thing. This would flake off so I cleaned up this whole edge so you got a nice seat for your uh, fuel uh, filter and uh, that will fit on there and, and you won't have to worry about any, any um, uh, paint flaking off and getting into there. Okay. Same thing here. You can see, clean this all out. Got all that that uh, uh, black paint out of there, so there's no chance of any black paint uh, getting into any of your filters. All right. Next step, we're going to take this this valve that is attached to your uh, float and then goes up to your intake manifold. You remember that was looking pretty bad before, so I polished that all up with just some steel wool. It's a brass fitting. Slide your O-ring over that, and that just sits down in there like that, okay? Your float only goes one way. Again, there's the needle valve. You can see that. You can see it hanging down there. All right. That just slides right in in there. And that takes two Torx 15 screws. Now as you see, this chamber, this inner chamber will slip up into here, and this is where your fuel is at. Okay, you can see that's all polished up and cleaned up. Now there's um, some chipping going on here, but you see that's going to be inside along this wall. It's not even going to be touching any, any uh, 
fuel or, or on the water side either. So as the fuel fills up in this chamber, this is the top of it, this runs to your intake manifold. As that fuel comes up, that blocks that off with your needle valve. And see that, that flows real nice. Okay, so we're going to stick this in here and make sure that that's seated in there real well. Work it back and forth. And you can look down in and see that it's seated in there. Okay. Next, we're going to put in the outer housing. And the way you tell which end is up on this is there's a hole up here that holds this bracket for the high pressure pump. Now as I stated before, this tends to break off. So we're going to have to drill that out and retap that with some new screws. It's real common. It gets corroded. It happens all the time. This one actually came to me this way, so no problem. We can get that fixed. You're just going to seat this down in there, snaps in there real nice. And let's put the top three screws in right now. And again, this is a Torx 25 screw. And there's, there's six of these. any further we need to change the gaskets on the low pressure fuel pump so we take these gaskets off I just like to change them just because I mean these are in pretty good shape so we wouldn't need to really change them but um, might as well change all of them get them all brand new again I tested these pumps earlier, they're functioning, they're cleaned out, they're ready to go. You can see down in there, that screen is clear. All right. All right, now this only goes in one way. So that's the nice thing about having a smaller end, a larger end. Larger end goes up top. Press that right in. All right. Next, we want to assemble the lower portion of this assembly. Now, real easy. <clears throat> The mounting bracket, just set, them on, set it on the flat surface and that just slides right in. Now you got to get this lined up with the little, with the little end of that, of that uh, low pressure pump. Just press that right in. Three more number 25 Torx screws.
Okay, all good and tight. Now, because I painted the top of this, I took out these grommets here. So I'll just put those in, back in, they just pinch back in. Alright, and then you've got these little brass sleeves that just slip in there. Okay. Now we've come to the high pressure. And again, these gaskets, they look fine, but it's always just a good idea to replace them. Now, as you can see, that's all nice and clean there. So that is, there's no flex in there at all. Like I said, I've already tested these pumps to work, so and I'll show that in a later video how to how to test that. So this just slips right on here like this, slides right in. Put this little gasket on, it's not necessary, but it was on there. There. Just keeps you from the metal on metal. Okay. <clears throat> now, the final part here is this bracket here. And this bracket slips right over the top of this, hooks on the back side, right back here, on this sleeve, and just slides right down on there. Like so. Now you can see <clears throat> that that lines right up with that screw that's broke off. Right there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to drill two little holes here on either, either side. Probably only needs one, but we're going to do two. And we're going to tap that out and uh, get that affixed on there. And then this pump will be ready to go. Okay, I'm back. So, while I was gone, I tapped out the, the new holes to hold the bracket on for the high pressure pump. As I said before, the, the middle one, which is usually has one in there, just the head broke off, and that's really common. So, drilled out two new ones on the outside of that. This just slips down on the top of there. Got two new stainless steel screws. There you have it, the completely reassembled Volvo fuel pump. If you're interested in my service, I'll leave my information below. I charge $300 for shipping and handling, 100% satisfaction guaranteed. If you're not completely satisfied, I'll refund your money. For the previous video on how to disassemble the fuel pump, click up here. If you want to subscribe to my channel, click down here. Like, comment, and thanks for watching Man Cave Mechanic. I'm Troy Bry. Have a great day.